Many people react to change differently. Some people just quickly accept change and move on because they have seen it elsewhere. Others, they question and wonder why, and others still directly assist change. They don't want it, they want to retain the status quo. And the others who take too long before they actually accept change. They say, we have always done it this way. Kenyans, my fellow Kenyans, it is time for us to accept change. It is time for us to accept a new government. It's time to accept that there will they'll, they'll be new things. It is important that we understand that nobody is like the other. And it is also important that we give the new government room for uh, bringing change and to begin to work on their manifestos. Let's not frustrate them by comparing them with anybody else. Let's not raise our expectations again too high. But uh, let us allow the new government time to structure themselves and begin. But for the new government, it is important to realize that Kenyans are desperate for change. They are coming from a background where they would rather that change came yesterday. So one of the expectations is that the food prices will go down. The, the inflation is just too high. It's right now about 8.2%, which is very difficult for many Kenyans. Kenyans expect that the new government will do whatever they can to lower the prices of food, the cost of living, the cost of fuel, the cost of basic, basic commodities. And uh, among other things, I know there are huge, there's a huge manifesto full of different things, but first things first, cost of living, ministry, and taking care of these uh, fellow Kenyans who are less fortunate, it is very difficult. Those of us who have children's homes, those of us who serve the people from the marginal areas, uh, life is very difficult. So the only way that uh, we would appreciate change in the new government is when we begin to feel that change by the reduction of the cost of living for foodstuffs. That way we'll be able to take care of more people, we'll be able to take care of more vulnerable children, we'll be able to take care, right now we are caring for 400 children in our eight GOA homes, and uh, we would like to take care of more. We have many, many students in college and universities where we are paying school fees. Uh, if, the life, if the life becomes uh, affordable, we can be able to do much more. So we want to take this opportunity to congratulate the new government and, uh, and, and wish that God is going to help them to at least make us feel that there is a change. Things like corruption, it is our prayer that they will be things of the past because some of the problems we are facing, it's not that the country is poor or it doesn't have the resources, but it's because some people have just been too greedy. And how I wish that we could uh, think about others as we continue. So may the Lord bless the new president, may the Lord bless the new cabinet team that he is making, may the Lord bless all the cabinet secretaries, all the governors, all the women labs, all the members of parliament, all the members of county assemblies, all the people in the new offices, please know that we are praying for you so that you may deliver on your manifestos. And God be with you. And fellow Kenyans, as I said earlier, there are some people, some of us, who things may not have gone the way they expected. The Supreme Court decision may not have favored you. Please know that there is another chance, know that life continues. Just know that uh, peace is what is going to make a difference. Just remain calm, remain peaceful, give the new government an opportunity to serve, accept that things have gone that way. Those things don't always go the way we want. So if things never went the way you wanted, just be peaceful and calm and accept and move on. And for those of you who things went the way you expected, just, just celebrate calmly, with dignity, with humility, and, and thank God that things went the way they went. But I wish we could all embrace the fact that we all are winners as Kenyans because the new government is our government.
So we are all winners. God bless you. God bless the new president. God bless his team. God bless this nation. God bless the work uh, of Kenyans that we will produce more fruit. Thank you. God bless you.